Guys, how's it going? Josh here with 616clean.com and today we're going to talk a little bit about wash science. In particular, we're going to talk about 12 volt pumps. I want to talk a little bit about the expectancy of a 12 volt pump and also the performance. Uh, let's see here, I'll take you on a little tour of the shop here. So, it's my rig behind me here. Um, basically, what I'm gonna show you here, this is this system is going on its fourth season. So whatever that would be, I got it in 2017, I believe. So 17, 18, 19, and 20. What you have here is two 12 volt pumps with a proportioner. Um, the pump we're gonna be using, this is on its fourth season. I replaced the one pump but actually the one I replaced is it was just a precautionary thing last year. Um, the, it's still good, it's still in my, I still have it. It's, it's still a working pump. So yeah, basically what we're gonna do here is a test and we're gonna be running through the proportioner to the 12 volt pump through the accumulator tank. See that little tank right there through the accumulator. Uh, we have 250 foot of half inch line and I know that keep in mind the performance and I guess like the gallons per minute distance all that kind of stuff is going to be better with a uh, larger larger pump or sorry larger hose so I'm gonna set you guys up here hopefully this kind of works perfect all right let me get my hose here a minute so all right, I'm gonna show you this here. I got a bunch of different guns here, but here is a Gilmore gun. And then I run a, I was the first guy to kind of do, do the ball valve with the, with the soft wash system. I run like an oversized barb here. It's actually, it's like a beer, like a sanitary food grade stainless steel. And this ball valve right here, that sucker is like four years old too. It's the only one that you'll see like that, I bet. Half inch, threaded on both sides. It's a compact ball valve. It's got a really nice like positive feel to it. it doesn't leak. Um, and it, yeah, it's a George Fisher compact half inch ball valve with Viton seal, so. Yeah, here's my tips. I'm gonna be running, I think this is a 50 orifice. Can't even read them, they're so uh, kind of gummed up. You can kind of see me spray. Four years, four years old the pump is. Here's a little shooter tip. Keep in mind for reference, my truck is 10 foot away from us right now. And uh, I believe that vehicle is 17 feet long. So let's just say to the end of the truck there, let's just say it's 25 foot. So that's 25 foot and we're shooting quite a bit past it. A little windy, but. Yeah, I've gotten, uh, I think the best out of one of these nozzles is 50 foot. I'm running, I was running a little bit shorter line then. I was running, I was running, I believe it was 220 foot versus 250. And uh, for some reason, when you make that jump, it really actually makes a big difference. So if you're gonna use a half inch line, I would consider going something with um, like a, either a five eighths or if you have to use a half inch, like I say, I would go really probably with, you know, say 225 feet. So let me grab some different nozzles. All right, so I got, I got some straight through wands too. So you can use this like a regular ball valve. And then I got some of these. So, you know, obviously I can just switch with, you know, your standard wand. Well, I guess mine's not standard. I like them carbon fiber, but hey, it is what it is. So 
It's got a nice healthy spray pattern there. And my wands flow better than other people's. You know, even if you take a stock gun like this, just basically how they have it set up is not beneficial to flow. It's just, there's deadheads in it and this and that. And uh, I really like to make my own because I machine some of these custom fittings for high flow. So I, you know, I, I get a little bit better numbers. Um, speaking of numbers, what kind of numbers are we gonna get? Four year old, half inch line, four year old, 12 volt pump. And we're obviously running through all this nonsense here through accumulator, proportioner, all that kind of stuff. So this is gonna be your worst case scenario as far as like flow goes. All right. So give it a second. 3.06 gallons per minute, 3.18. Yep, 3.18 gallons per minute. So there you go, I mean, that's not bad considering the pump and then uh, I'll show you. Here's one of my personal favorites. So some guys like to use a little shorty wand, some guys like to use a ball valve, I do have a just a regular straight through ball valve that I use too. Um, but there's lots of different scenarios out there. But uh, some guys like to just use the ball valve. And I've been told, well, I like to just use the ball valve. If you do this with the quick connects, you can't. Well, with a fitting like that, half inch to a quarter inch, yes, you can. Boom, right there, look at that. We'll go to a small fitting, see? Look at that spray pattern. See, just on and off like that. That's how I'm doing it. That's how you gotta do it. Look at that. Look at that power right there. It's not bad. I mean, I say look at that power, look at this, look at that, but it, it's a 12 volt pump, you know? At the end of the day, it's not a booster pump. It's it's not some expensive air diaphragm. It's, it's not any of those kind of pumps, but they do have longevity that's after four seasons or not excuse me going into the fourth season um cleaning 100 grand worth of stuff too so 100 grand plus and i mean when you think of it that way it, it's a matter of taking care of them wiring them correctly people have bad things to say about them um for the most part do, do they do they fail is it possible yeah absolutely um but there's a certain factor of quote unquote dumbassery, I guess you would say, uh, what, that correlates to that too. Do you have it wired correctly? Is it plumb correctly? Are you using the correct tips? And if you wanna use a huge array of tips, well, that's what the accumulator tank's for. You know, you gotta, have, you gotta run an accumulator if you're gonna start doing that. I, I can, I have the ability, with this right here, with that fitting, I have the ability to hook up and run one of my very many water-fed poles. And I can actually fill this tank up right here, clear the hose out, and actually run a second water-fed pole system and have 50 gallons of uh, fresh water. So, I, you know, it, and it, it's fine. I, I haven't had an issue with the pump, being that I have the accumulator. So. It's give and take and just depends on what you do and really really how you do it. You gotta do it right. You gotta do, you really gotta be diligent about, you know, 
what, what's your wiring like? What's your setup like? Are you rinsing your pump? If, if you put one of these systems together and you're the type of guy that's batch mixing it, well, you better have some sort of solution for rinsing it out, you know, a three-way valve, what have you. So just a little bit, kind of my take on the 12 volt pump and you know, just some different tips and guns, this and that, just kind of a different perspective on it. Um, start to do more of these videos, kind of get more into the details that you don't see a lot of other people cover. Um, if there's something you guys want to see or if you're curious about, just ask me a question. But that's, uh, that's going to be it for soft wash science today. So this is Josh with 616clean.com. We'll see you guys in the next one.